gone from where is he to here he is again. <laughs> when Michael Jackson passed away on June 25th, 2009, he left a void in the music industry. For a moment, it felt as if the world was still. Whether you're from a big city in the U.S. or a small town in Liberia, you've probably been affected by Michael. <laughs> Today, my friends and I are visiting Michael's grave at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. And later on, drive into the famous Neverland Ranch, where Michael Jackson once resided. I normally don't bring much paranormal gear when exploring, but I thought it'd be very interesting bringing my friend Kelsey, who by the way, is a gifted psychic medium, along for this investigation. We're gonna have to be careful though, there's a lot of spirits roaming the park, good or evil, we don't want to take anything back home with us. here with my friend Kelsey Hi. and she happens to be a medium and we're at the mausoleum where Michael Jackson is buried and figured I would bring her along as soon as I brought her in here she started feeling a ton of energy I was surprised because usually cemeteries don't have a lot surprisingly like really? yeah it's weird because in here oh my god when we walked in I couldn't breathe and a woman named Margaret came to me. I'm not sure who she is. She just kept saying her name and I was just kind Margaret. of confused. Margaret. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful mausoleum I have ever been in before. It was dead silent in here like five minutes ago and we all got spooked because it just started talking out of nowhere. But just to give you an idea of how beautiful it is in here, almost gives you a cathedral kind of vibe. So after walking around and exploring a little bit, we actually found what Kelsey was feeling. Yeah. And well, this she is drew me over here. I felt it. I was like, she's over here somewhere. I just felt it. Margaret. Did you get sick? Is that how you passed away? It's so quiet in here now. Okay, just to give you an idea of how quiet it was, and then that thing just started talking. It scared the crap out of all of us. But she asked a little bit ago if she was sick or died of a sickness, and she said yes. Like she could, we got old and like got oh, okay. sick. Is there anything you want to tell us? Are there any messages you want us to send your family? Sick. 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 That's what I heard too. It hurts. I thought that's what I heard. There's also a young girl with her. Can you tell me who the young girl is? No disrespect. We're not disrespecting you, are we? For me? There's a little girl here too. She's with her. Can you tell me who the little girl is? Definitely feel like you're being watched here. It's like a I almost feel like trying to feel like maybe she lost the child or maybe had a miscarriage or some sort. Yeah. Should do some research on her name. Yeah, I'm like curious. There's a lot of walkers here too, and you even said that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's her last name. That's weird that, her, that her, that's her last name. We were just talking about like Paul Walker. Right. What the hell was that? Yeah. If there's anyone here with us, can you make a noise? Is Michael Jackson close by? I 
Are, are you here, Michael? Is Michael Jack, have you met him? Do you know if Michael Jackson's here? I heard maybe too. Yeah. Come. 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 We should get closer. Is it maybe the sound? It's trying to get us yeah, to go like on that The reason why I felt it was really important to show you inside of this mausoleum is because it is connected to where Michael Jackson is buried. And, but yeah, it's completely off limits. I'm gonna show you outside of where he's buried, but this is more than likely what it looks like. That area is like heavily secured and you can't go back there. Even outside of it is secured, tons of security. There's even signs saying that you can't take pictures. Very strict. Got a massive angel right there. It's actually kind of scary, but it looks like an art gallery in here. Look at these guys. If we haven't seen any other Margaret, nowhere. But if that Margaret's still alive, what if it was someone reaching out to her? Yeah, because there wasn't a date. Yeah, it's like, it's just so weird to me. I'm wondering if that was maybe an ancestor reaching out to Margaret or if that was freaking Margaret. Let me know here in the comments what you think it costs to be buried somewhere this beautiful. It is insane. The poets corridors and I think there's a couple popular poets buried. Wow. I can't believe there yeah, there's two people buried in there. Dude, this is cool. Just wanted to give you an idea of how massive this place is. I mean it's like a cathedral inside and there's tons of Mausoleum hallways like this. That is a Freemason symbol right over there. So there's probably some Masons in this mausoleum corridor. Man, look at this. It's insane. Man, that's the poet's corridor that we just came through right now. Massive in here. Now my friend Kelsey was thinking that that was like a miniature coffin. But I think that's an urn. Let me know here in the comments what you think it is. Just wanted to give you an idea of where we were. We were in that mausoleum building right there. But as you can see, there is a connection that goes into the mausoleum, which is considered the great mausoleum where Michael Jackson's body was laid to rest. Now, the last time I was here, we did a spirit box communication. It was quite interesting. My friend Kelsey, who's a medium, she brought a couple different things to document, but we're on the back side of it. There's a lot of security cameras on the other side. And of course, some signs saying that you can't take photos, things like that. So we wanna find an area that's connected to the building where we can kind of set up a couple of things. Did I miss something? Yeah, weird, it kept going days. off. <laughs> oh. That's weird. It only goes off if you put your hand here. But it's going off. Oh, it is. It doesn't, it usually just sits there. So Michael Jackson is on the other side, but he is in this building right here, the Great Mausoleum. That's weird that that's going off. Hey, Michael, can you touch the REM pod for us? If you're here? That's really weird. It's never done that before. <laughs> Guys, so I put out this thing, and you know it works only if you put your hand here or on this side, but it keeps beeping. All right, check this out. See, this door is locked. Can't get in there. You can't even see through these windows. Everything is all blocked off. And right here is a camera directly to security. Check. Look what I found. Check this out. Somebody left a note here for Michael Jackson. Aww. 
and some flowers right. to Michael from Zelda and from China with love. China? <laughs> China? China? I mean, I don't know. It's a whole letter. I think about you every single day. You are part of who I am. Aww. I don't even feel like it's right to read this. This is personal. No. But what's sad is that this is going to probably be picked up today. Because that's that's what they do. But it's nice that people... It's, it's yeah, it's a thought. Yeah. And Michael meant a lot to this person. A lot of The Margaret. one that kept saying Margaret. But the thing is, I don't know if, because that lady was alive, so I'm like, the only thing is Wait like. Wait a minute. What if, what if it's somebody that wants to say hi to Margaret? That's what I was saying. Like, maybe they were trying to show me, like, who they were trying to contact, because they just kept saying Margaret. So I assumed it was their name, but if they were alive, like, that wouldn't make sense. So I'm really curious. And there's been a woman kind of lingering with us, and I feel like it's the same one. Why don't you ask? It keeps going to yes. The green is only going off. Because usually there's the red and the green, and the green is like yes, usually. See? The woman that's with us, are you able to cross the rods in my hand? Can you do it? Just cross one over the other. moving a lot. Look. Ooh. She did it. Are you the same woman that was coming to me inside the mausoleum? Can you cross for yes and open for no? Yeah. I'm so curious. Is your name Margaret? It said Anne. And oh my god, it was Margaret. Anne. I know. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. what I was. But if there's, I almost heard so something about family. Uh, maybe they're speaking out, or maybe she was named after. It. <laughs> oh, like, a, I don't know, dude. I'm there's like, too many I know. I'm like, what <laughs> is your name, Margaret? Cross for yes, open for no, bro. Did I say Margaret? Did it? I don't know. I, th I thought I heard Margaret. Were you the one saying Margaret? That's so weird. Are you Margaret? That thing's tripping me out. Because remember we put that out like and it's never goes off. Hey, I got a question for Margaret. Are you related to Michael Jackson? Does that mean no? No. Okay. That'd be crazy. Nothing. Though, could you imagine? I said nothing? Yeah. Hey, Michael, do you want to come say hello to us? I know you were excited when we were talking on the spirit box with you. We're just right outside your crypt. Hold me? Yeah, I heard that too. I wish I could give you a hug. I'm like having a really hard time breathing. Are you feeling more of this, Margaret? It's like someone else came in, but I'm not sure like who this. I don't know if it's Michael, but like Ask. I can't breathe with this person. Hey, Michael, are are you are you here in the midst of Kelsey? She's a medium. Can you cross the rods? Like my heart hurts. Oh. Like a heart attack. This person. How did Michael die? I know heart that- Heart failure. Heart failure? Cardiac arrest. Right, okay, so it was a lethal combination of sedatives and pro propofol. Propofol, yeah. And anesthetic 
and was ruled a homicide, it was cardiac arrest. And you felt something in I your heart. I feel like my whole chest is just so tight. Like it's like, like this is what they usually show me when they had like a heart attack. So Michael did come through. I don't know if this is him, but someone's showing me with a heart attack. That thing's keep go yeah, keeps going. Crazy, Should we ask? Yeah. Like, ask. like I cannot breathe. Like it's just so heavy right here. You want to take a break? No, I'm good. I'm good. Is this person here? Is your name Michael? Can you cross the dowsing rods in my hand for yes and open them for no? No way. There's Michael. no way. Michael is a common name. That's maybe, true. That's maybe true. you should ask if it's Michael Jackson. I'm gonna like. Oh my god. Okay. Are you Michael Jackson? Oh, it is Michael Jackson. If you're Michael Jackson, can you make the REM pod go off in front of me? Can you make it beep? Whoever this man is, can you make it go off? That thing keeps going, that's so weird. And green is yes, because yeah. it, it's throwing out a lot of yeses. Hey Michael, are you over there, buddy? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? It stopped. Should we put on the spirit box and see? Yeah. Michael, thanks for coming and saying hello to us. Do you enjoy having visitors? It's a really kind letter outside of this gate, or outside of the door for you. The last time I was here, I almost got, I think I got a spirit, like a spirit box communication and it said, like, don't go. Really? Like, yeah, he like really enjoyed that we were here visiting. Yeah, whoever this is is like wanting to communicate. I just, I'm not getting a clear like image of who it is. But I felt like a pinching, like almost in my chest. That's crazy that you didn't know the cause of death. And you yeah, died. I that knew was... he like overdosed, but I didn't know it was like heart, like yeah. heart failure. Or... That's the first thing you said too. Yeah, it was literally heart. You want to go to the other side? I don't know. You hear that? No. It said no. Do you want us to stay here? I think there's other spirits like yeah. kind of channeling and coming through. Sounds like. I don't mind. I heard something like yeah. that. Can we just speak to Michael? Yeah. It's tripping me out. Like I don't get why it's still going. On. It doesn't usually. Do I know it just sits there, like, and then eventually it would. You you've seen it. It just sits there. It's the most active I've ever seen. And this is the most active I've ever seen that thing. Hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Hello. Yeah. Can someone point to where you're standing? and then something else comes through and then something else. It's like not allowing me to just connect with one person. It's kind of overwhelming. That's how cemeteries are. Yeah. That's why I say every cemetery is haunted. Yeah. Every single one. I don't know, if that was Michael, that would be crazy. Well, unless, according to those dowsing rods, yeah, it was. unless someone was pretending just to like get attention, you know? I feel like they do that sometimes. That is possible, yeah. But the tightening of the chest was just weird. No, I thought that was pretty unique. Like it pinched. It hurt. What'd you do, bro? Don't ask. <laughs> so I went to get a battery for on. this Wait, camera right say, here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I left I left the keys to uh, my rental uh, inside there. And this is a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a nice car. But when you unlock the trunk, it doesn't unlock the doors. Where's so, the spare uh, key at? Spare key? Yeah. I don't have They hide key. them somewhere, I think. Probably Did you take my keys? Who has it? Are you around? 
I'll tell cold. you what, you're cold right now. Where'd you hide? Bro. Wait, did you come on? Are you serious? I wish I did. Oh, Dude, damn. You just made my day. Yeah, I, you for just real. made me so much happier. <laughs> you ass. Ah! How did you even get the keys? Uh, it was Michael. He brought us the keys. Uh, <laughs> bro, I was I was already like planning my day out. Wait, you have the spare key. This isn't the key. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's my I key. <laughs> Why are you with uh, me, bro? Uh, uh, Do you actually have it though? It was funny. No, I wish I did though. Really All right, huge <laughs> shout out to my friend Ashley here because she has AAA and it covers like rentals and stuff. Does it have to be your rental though? No? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're, we're together. So, <laughs> all right. Hey, um, we're going to go back to the other side where we could probably find a little bit more connected to Michael Jackson. I believe he is right on the other side of this wall that we're going to check out. But we were on the we're on the other side of this building that you see here, which is the Great Mausoleum. So let's have a look. Come on, you see that ladder over there? Where? Oh yeah. You should climb it. Uh, Sneak into my, my name was Mo Sarji, I would climb it for sure. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, this is... You can't go in there? Yeah. There's a camera right there. That's that's security. Yeah, they have a... If you're an owner, they have a key uh -huh. to get in there. This is like owning property. I mean, it is. It's like your Great. eternal resting place. Well, at least for your body, that is. But people come here, they buy property, and they come visit it. The last time I was here, and I did mention this, I met with some future owners well they were owners but they're future residents of the mausoleum and they were visiting it like if they're just coming to visit like a home like it was it was the strangest darkest but cool if that makes any sense strange dark cool still kind of morbid so the last time i was here i actually called security i'm like hey can i come in here <laughs> and they talk to you on the other side. Do they say no? I dare you. I triple dog dare you to do I'm it. I'm like, please. <laughs> well, I mean, you're a lot cuter than I am, so oh it God. might it might work for you. I doubt it. Go ahead, oh try it. Let Us ugly people this. are going to hide over here. You and Ashley. Ashley do it. Come on, James. Bring your ugly ass over here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Ashley was like. Do you need a key to get in? Do you have property inside the building? Um, I don't. Unfortunately, the site is only for property owners. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I tried. Hey, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm like, I think Michael came to me. Can I come in? You should have said that. <laughs> you said that. Michael, I, think I, I think Michael wants us in there. You, you know what you could have said when she asked, do you have do you have property here? Be like, yes, and it belongs to Michael Jackson. And I have to return it. Oh my God. He gave my heart. Yeah. I show her my dowsing rods. I'm like, watch. So you know what's crazy is there's nothing out here. The last time I was out here before, there was things. There was even really? artwork for Michael Jackson oh. right outside. This He's, one. There's definitely like his energy for you sure. You can feel here. some energy it's for like, sure. I don't think he's here all the time. I think he kind of like comes and goes, you know, maybe maybe if people leave stuff, it's like they're, you know, maybe he knows that that's something that means something yeah, that means a lot. Yeah, that's like for him. So maybe he comes and visits a little bit. Right. But I don't feel like he like sits here all day. You know what I mean? There's a key underneath that mat. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, Omar, are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. It's a little wet. <laughs> the lady Ow. watching the thing is I probably like, damn, <laughs> he's clumsy. <laughs> Down there? Oh my god, that'd be cool. It looks creepy, huh? That would be creepy. super creepy. That's where the entrance to Michael Jackson's crypt is. And you see, we're, I don't know, maybe 20 feet away. And this is kind of like a maintenance doorway. We don't want to get a whole lot of uh, attention drawn to us. This kind of goes down below. And 
Yeah, Kelsey set down a ramp hog. I'm curious if this does the same thing as the other side. See, it's not doing it. That's how it usually is. It just sits there. Right. See the yeah, other was, side. It was, it was going. Yeah, it was going. <gasps> oh, the ramp. There's hog. someone here. Look. It's going Whoa. green. Is there a man here with us? It's going to know. It's, it's look, red. look, look. It's on red. Is there a woman here with us? Oh, it would be yes! Whoa! That's super cool. That's crazy. So is that thing primarily used for like yes or no type yeah. questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then sometimes I'll see them like wandering by it, so mm -hmm. I'll ask them to touch it and it goes beep. Like it's, it's pretty no crazy. No kidding. Can you make that red device go on? Is anyone here with us? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, okay, I have a question. Is that door open? <gasps> Wait, what was that? They wouldn't say yes, but like... What if that door is open? I don't think so. Maybe it was like... Oh I, it kind of opened a little yeah, bit. I was yeah. like, what? Could you imagine? Maybe it was just responding to you like, I have a question. Yes. Yeah, oh, it was late. Oh, okay. They say that you have to wait a little bit. Can you open the door for us? No, that's kind of a lot to ask. No, it went oh, it to said, no. It said no. <gasps> okay. Is your body behind these walls? It was like an instant response. So it went right to green. Are you a positive entity? Are you a negative entity? Mm, yes. So green is yes. I went to green. See, that's why sometimes spirit box communication and some of these devices, like you have to be careful using them. Yeah. I wouldn't like start off as a beginner, say a prayer, because there could be some negative spirits that attach themselves to these devices and can't attach to you too if you're not careful. Are you here to harm us in any way? No, that's good at least. Are we still talking to Michael Jackson? Are you here with us, Michael? No. No. I did it twice too, right? Yeah. Well, thank you for being honest. Is this still the negative entity that's here? Entity. 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 <laughs> how do you say it? Entity. I don't know. How do you say that? I say it. Entity. Entity. You said entity. Yeah, well, this is the same <laughs> thing. Isn't it? I don't know. Entity. Are you an entity? <laughs> do you have entities? <laughs> Okay, we're goofing off. Hopefully, I know, they're probably all mad. Hopefully you have a sense of humor like we do. I do you like... have a sense of humor? Oh, they do. It's really fast. It's weird. It's like, I don't know. It almost kind of answers the question before you're even completely done right. answering or asking. Have you met Michael Jackson? Is he here? Does he ever come by and visit? Yes. Yes. Oh, another yes. Oh. Because you, you asked two questions. Oh, I did? Oh, yeah. He, oh, I did. Yeah, Michael oh, Jackson. And then does he come visit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Was he the one that came through when we were sitting on the other side? Was it actually Michael Jackson? No. Yeah, but you're a negative <laughs> spirit. You said you were a negative spirit. Unless there's another spirit here now. Are you the same negative spirit? Oh. <laughs>
the same negative spirit. I wonder if they were pretending to be Michael. <gasps> I wouldn't trust anything they say. Yeah. So they were. So yes, they were pretending to be Michael. That's what they're claiming. Is they were pretending to be Michael. Looks like she's a spider on her head. Me? Right no, get it. You see it? No, get right it sure. off. Is it? No, it's not. I think it's like moss. No, get it. Moss? Why is there moss like growing on my head? Have oh, we been a there? Spider. <laughs> That's a spider. Oh. It was a little tiny spider. <gasps> oh, did you put that there? <laughs> what if it did? <laughs> no. No, it said no. Look. Okay. This is crazy. I wonder if they were pretending to be Michael, if that was Michael, or if they're lying. Are you lying to us? Are you a demon? Yes. So yes. Yeah. Yes. And that was yes. That too. went yes. I feel like they'll just say anything to trick oh, you. Oh yeah. So I don't know. Are there any positive spirits that want to come through? I just keep seeing like this small shadow right here. Really? Yeah. Do you feel in any dark energy? It's heavy. Yeah? It's like, kind of like that sense where I couldn't breathe before. That's like the same thing I'm getting. Right. And I just keep seeing this dark like shadow in the corner right there. It's almost little. Like a little? Like, like a kid or something, but like, the, I know demons kind of pretend to be children. Oh, yeah. Look at that's the car. Bro, bro. Wait, I'm wait, like geeking what? out right now. What? Wait, is... That's what it says, Hustler, it's a Bentley. Is... Wait, who is this? Larry? Who's Larry? Flint? He's the owner of Hustler magazine. Is and he's here? got... So it could be a no, family, a family member, because they were bringing flowers. Yeah. Is he buried here? Oh, I guarantee he's buried here. Wait, is he buried here? Because buried. it was a... Yeah, this, I thought he was... I thought he it was... It looked dead. like a driver. He was in a suit, and he got out a woman carrying a bouquet of flowers. Oh. Mm. Maybe it was his wife? Is his wife still? One of the top Google searches is, is Larry Flint dead? Interesting. Yeah, he, he died last year. So I don't even know that. He must be. He is buried here. Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale. Yeah. So they are. So he is buried here. Guys. So I guess his family is visiting him. Let's get close to the car. Kate, okay, so if you've never watched the movie, I think it's The People Against Larry Flint. This was Larry Flint's Bentley right here, and the back of it does say Hustler. I didn't even know he passed away, but he passed away last year. Rest in peace. Um, you said that you saw a woman. Like, oh, they saw, or Ashley did. She said she saw a woman, like, I guess she's, you know, coming to his grave to give him flowers. I'm wondering if maybe his wife, or unless, I don't know. Alright. Someone who is close to him, or daughter, or something, maybe. It's Larry Flint's Bentley. Cool. If you don't know, Larry Flint was the owner of Hustler Magazine. It's a it's kind of like Playboy. All right, fam, so I hope we can get out of here soon. I guess if you're watching this video, we made it back to Florida because I was able to edit it. And yeah, big shout out to my homies here and James. I'll leave links down below to their channels. Bro, Bro. I just got this warning on my dashboard right now. It says warning malfunction and it has this little symbol off to the right. Yeah, I don't know what that symbol is supposed to mean right down there. It looks like a, a star. I don't know. It's like the sensor is messed up or something. All right, so we're actually right next. Oh, wow, it's dark. 
right next to the Neverland Ranch property. A couple years back, I came here by myself. I did a spirit box session and I feel like I did make communication with Michael Jackson himself. Now I came here right before it got dark, I did a couple drone shots. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch the Neverland Ranch property on my drone. The property is ginormous. It's over 2,000 acres of land. We've been driving for a hot minute and we're still right next to the Neverland property. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. I'm also gonna share some stories about the Neverland Ranch and get right up to the gate. Hopefully they still have some of Michael Jackson's memorabilia. When I came a couple years back, a lot of fans leave stuff at the front gates and the owners were pretty cool with it. Hopefully that is still a thing. We're gonna find out here in 2022. Who knows if it's even that anymore. They changed the name. What's the it's name a new now? owner, Sycamore Valley Ranch. Okay, so it's no longer considered the Neverland Ranch. One thing I forgot to mention in my previous video, if you've ever watched Peter Pan, and you know, Peter Pan was, was this kid that stayed a kid, and everybody that lived in Never Neverland stayed a kid. They were kids forever. Now, Michael Jackson had this vision of creating a place where he can get away. It's a couple hours away. Actually, it's three hours away from LA. And if you've ever been to LA, it is crazy. Traffic's crazy. There's not very many places in Los Angeles that you can go to that is not crowded and full of a ton of people. A place where you can have peace. Michael Jackson spent a majority of his life, primarily his childhood, creating music that we all enjoy today. So yeah, he was kind of robbed of his childhood, and that's why he created the Neverland Ranch. Well, back to the whole Peter Pan thing, the Never Neverland, these kids never became adults. They stayed kids all of their life. That's how Peter Pan was. If you ever watched the movie Hook, it's, it's kind of cool. It, it explains that. And once Peter Pan goes to the real world, he starts to age and he becomes like a an actual man. Now, one thing that's really cool about the Neverland Ranch, when Michael Jackson created it, he wanted to have like a, a Disney feel to it. And it looks a lot like Disney. He had roller coasters, he had like a, the whole theme park. In 2005, Michael Jackson left the Neverland Ranch and it said it was because the whole controversy about what had happened and probably some court that he had to attend. Now this more than likely would have been Michael Jackson's forever home. He loved it here and that's why it is considered haunted. People have caught things here and in fact, I'm gonna share this small clip with you where someone believes they may have caught an apparition of Michael Jackson. After Michael Jackson's death, a reporter on Larry King got a first-hand look in the vacant Neverland Ranch. When they peek around the corner, you can see a full-body apparition go from left to right. Millions of people saw this live and believed it to be Michael Jackson. I don't know what that was, but it was creepy. Perhaps it wasn't Michael Jackson and it was something else. We don't know. Maybe we'll ask a little bit later. All I know is this land is known to be haunted. The last time I was here alone, there was some times where I felt the car shaking when I was using the spirit box. Maybe it was an earthquake. It's definitely some unexplainable stuff. Dude, it is so dark. That's what my high's on. Man, if I do that. Yeah, no. And what if I do this? The highs. Oh, oh, what the what was that? <laughs> I just turned off the... Okay. What is that? I have no idea. I see like a little yellow light on over there. Yeah. It's dark. The property is to the right of us. Right there. All of that is the Neverland Ranch. I was telling James, I'm actually quite surprised that it's not like gated with like a wall. But I mean, I'm sure there's tons of cameras outside of it. Oh, it's gotta be. Wait till you see the front gates to the Neverland Ranch. Wait, is this it? No. Oh, this is a side gate. Look at that. This is a side gate to the property. Think we can get through it? Uh, if you wanna get shot. <laughs> no, I don't wanna get shot, I'm good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is creepy out here, 100%. There's nothing out here. Like, if you want Starbucks, you ain't getting it. Oh, here's another side gate. Nothing. Tons of no trespassing signs. Mm. Yeah, there's no cell phone reception. They so can't do a live stream from my ear or post a picture on Instagram. All right, this is either going to be good or bad or a little bit of both. I have no idea. We're coming right up to the gates. And you 
you see it's all lit up. And there are a couple cars there. One, two, three. Those are all secure. Turn right. Uh, can we park right here? Yeah. Uh, no parking. Dude, look, they have all of this blocked off. I wonder if you can still... Do you see anything? Mm, no, where was that gate at? The gate's right there. Oh, right there? Yeah, are you allowed to come and bring stuff? Still? Mm, I don't know. Let's walk up there real quick. I, I, I mean, uh, I'm a little scared too, but... Alright, yeah, why don't you uh, go ahead and go over there. And uh, ask the security guard if we could be here. Is there a security guard? Yeah. Where? He's right over there. There's a there's an actual security booth right over there. Where you did walk? they had the the stuff was all over the there. memorial stuff was right at the gates right there. So uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and ask. Oh, over there. Great. Okay, I can't be just sending James to the dogs like that. Oh, I'm coming with you. Hang on. Go ahead, ask, bro. <laughs> I don't even know where there's anybody standing. All right, look. So walk around here and. I'll walk with you. Oh look, there's already, I see memorabilia right there. Stuff written on the wall. Mm. You see right there? I don't want to get close to it, but when I came last time, there was letters like all over the wall, in front of the gates. This is all new to me. And there is a camera right on the tree right there. That wasn't there before and these roadblocks weren't here. Now I don't see any no trespassing signs. I mean, technically we're on public road here but as soon as we step over we're on private property uh what does this say yeah it just says stop um no parking anytime i have no idea perhaps the owners took all the all the stuff down to discourage fans from coming here i mean there was a ton of stuff before we're talking about michael jackson's neverland ranch this would have been his forever home 100 percent whoa the wind like started picking up here What's up, guys? You guys oh. oh, yeah, is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we were just trying to figure out. Right. We were just trying to figure out, like, we didn't want to go over there. We didn't know if we could. Yeah, so you guys can just walk around on the driveway. Okay. Oh, so we can't go on the driveway? Yeah, you're right. You just can't park there, but flashlight, you can see all the riding. So right. Oh, sweet, man. Cool. I was scared to even go over here. So. Oh, yeah, you guys can walk over there. All right, thanks, man. Okay, so security just came out spoke to James and I. He's a very nice guy. He was like, hey, you guys are more than welcome to come up to the gates. There's writings on the wall. So new owners, still cool people. I don't know if the house got sold recently, but uh, James did a little bit of research and this I did not know. The house was originally put up for sale for, it's like a hundred and something million dollars and it ended up not selling. So then they lowered the price to around 67 million or so. Still no bites. It ended up going for $22 million. For the Neverland Ranch, over 2,000 acres of land, that's a bargain. I, I, it's a lot of money for me, okay? I do not have $22 million, but if I did, heck yeah. Neverland Ranch? Yo, what would you do if you owned the Neverland Ranch? Bro, I'd make it an attraction. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I would make it a Michael Jackson attraction. Oh yeah. Wow. You gotta get close to see things. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, there's stuff. Yeah, there's stuff on the walls here. That says, love is forever. There's tons of writings on the walls. Thank you, Michael, for everything. This landscaping is beautiful, though. There's all kinds of stuff. Look. From Texas, Yvonne, Audrey, RIP, MJ. I mean, people still come here after so long i mean like this was michael's favorite place oh look i love what that says you are not alone look at that i mean like somebody would have to step over this landscaping to write on that and the owners are perfectly cool with it <laughs> are you gonna try to step over their landscaping no i don't think so Look, there's more here. You came and changed my life. Hey, we were listening to some Michael Jackson on the way here. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Either Beat It or Thriller. Oh, you biting my style, bro. <laughs> Thriller's my number one. Yeah, bro. Hey, we're walking right up 
to the front gates of the Neverland Ranch. As I sit here and look at all this love on these walls, you know, the people that took their time to, to drive out here. I mean, we're the Neverland Ranch is, it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. It's far away from Los Angeles, like I said, but I mean, I can't help but feel all this love. I mean, Michael Jackson was loved so much. I mean, look, there's something here. Uh, Jade Grimes loves and misses you forever from florida actually that's awesome and that's been here since 2012. how cool are these owners that they let people come here over and over again and keep michael jackson's name loved i i think that's that's amazing i, I don't know like if i owned the neverland ranch you ain't gonna be right no, no i'm just kidding i was talking it over with james and if i owned the neverland ranch if he owned the Neverland Ranch, like, I'd want to turn this place into an attraction. Really honor Michael Jackson. Have, like, a Michael Jackson amusement park. How cool would that be? And maybe even have it where people can come and stay here. Come stay the night. Get tours of the Neverland Ranch. But, yeah. I can't afford $22 million. 2,700 acres. We were wrong. We thought it was 2,400 acres. It was uh, 2,700 acres. They got, a, they got a lot of security here. See, right there and 24 seven security guards. There's the booth right there. Super nice people, by the way. The last time I was here, I found like, it was like letters inside of the the walls. Oh, wait, there's something in here. What is this? It's like a piece of metal or something. I don't know. I'm actually really upset that I didn't bring a permanent marker or something to write on the walls because would have totally Oh, check this out. This is cool. Don't want to walk on the flowers here. I'm going to be very careful. Check that out right there. Miss you, buddy. So much. Thanks for everything, MJ. You're the best. Melvin. There's a heart right there. People have carved up this tree, but over time it's kind of falling apart. I would recommend bringing a permanent marker or something that you could write on these bricks. Maybe do a little research. What works? Let's go. We're going to go ahead and type in the code. Oh, I'm not touching that. But. You can start pressing the buttons. Yo, look at all these people that were like so encouraged by Michael. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, it says. What was that? Did hear something? Oh, this this camera just came on. <laughs> Hi, sorry, it's me. Sorry, I'm just. It's me. <laughs> no, but That's this. Cool. What does it say on the um? Says you made me who I am. Love you forever. There is some stuff on top of the walls. What was that, bro? super quiet out here so you're gonna hear a lot of noises yeah a lot of animal noises yeah check it out so there's something right above up there I don't know what it is and there's something else did you see anything over there mm -mm. no trespassing sir. oh yeah for sure but, I mean, how cool are the owners that they allow you to come Dude, here? So cool. Like, I would have never guessed. Imagine, like, you own a house, right? And people just stop right in the front of your house in the middle of the night taking pictures with their phones. Like, 
you would think that they would tell people like get them out of get here get the heck out of here but no they're like no there's an area over here you're allowed to be there like that is so awesome and uh, yeah i give a lot of props to the owners too For real and i mean they encourage people to come and write on their walls Damn. like seriously that's the coolest i mean it's one thing to come and visit but another thing to actually write stuff on private property there's nothing saying that you can't and actually i would man we should ask a security guard if he has a permanent marker <laughs> all right that's pushing it all right we're, we're able to be here and i'm gonna take that hey so since the security guard was so cool yeah why don't you go ask him if he'll give us a tour of the never <laughs> yeah okay Be like how much hey could you chase that out of here <laughs> oh bro right when i asked about that like just messing around like the wind picked up like it's like roaring Listen to that noise. Bruh. Wait, is that a, like a... It sounds like a jet. Oh, bro, like legit the wind picked up like crazy right now. Like out of nowhere. Bro. All right, I don't think Michael Jackson liked that. I don't think he liked that we wanted to tour the Neverland. Or maybe he did like it. Maybe he did like it. Hit with a leaf. Dude, that was weird. And now it's gone. It was like a huge gust of wind and like a roaring sound. There was probably a jet above us, but... Would a jet cause a bunch of wind like that? No. Nah, I don't think so. Wow. This is a really cool looking tree. I just want to see what's down here. Okay, it's all private property. Wait, what did you say the name of the ranch was called now? Sycamore. Sycamore Valley, Valley Ranch. Okay, so it's it's funny you mentioned that because I just pulled up the Wi-Fi and it says SVR. Oh, wow. And then SVR Guest. So there's a couple wi-fi's here so guests come here the guest password would be beat it <laughs> <laughs> How about michael you gonna try it try michael you're gonna try to get to their their wi-fi and it's not connected yeah there's no internet out here so we're, we're trying to connect to their wi-fi <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna happen what about neverland ranch Ooh, that's a good one yeah no no and, uh, <laughs> You've never spoken to Michael, huh? I've never spoken to him, though. The last time I did a spirit box, it wasn't right outside, as close as I am, to the front gates. I'm curious to see if we get any more intelligent responses like we did the last time. Like, it was cool. I have my spirit box connected to the car. If you want to use a spirit box, I have a link down in the description to it. Now, I've been trying to stay away from using the spirit box and when I go explore, just explore places without using any type of ghost hunting equipment or apps. However, I'm doing this because a lot of you requested for me to come back here, requested James to come here and do this. So it's kind of the reason why. Hey Michael, are you here with us? Go ahead and hit start. <laughs> Do you visit the Neverland Ranch often? That, that sounded like it Michael sound Jackson. Like him. It did. That actually sounded just like him. You're right. You're right. Michael, if you can hear us, what would you like to tell everyone? I'm not sure what that said. If we're really talking to Michael Jackson, what was your favorite dance? That sounded like Michael Jackson again. Hey, Michael. What really happened to you? Were you murdered? 
freed? So well, I heard fr I, maybe it was framed. Maybe he was talking about something else. I don't know if it was framed or freed. There's another spirit box that I like to use. It's a little, um, it's a little slower. And I have a link down in the description to this one too. There's five channels, and you can like I just put one on. So let's ask another question. What was your favorite song? Your absolute favorite song that you created? Boom. You said something. It sounded like you said something. Can you say that again? Did it say, did it say beat it? Were you trying to communicate with us with the wind? Can you be more clear? Where you are? Where you are? I did. Are, are you where I am? Are you here? Like in the car with us? I was. Oh, I was. I was. You. I was here. Did you like the Neverland Ranch? I'm not understanding your responses. Do you like the new owners of the Neverland Ranch? Do you think Michael Jackson would take walks outside of the gates? Doubtfully. Doubtfully? Really? What did that say? Really? I heard that too, really. He had, he had to have. But the thing is, is like, there's so much land in there. Like, he didn't have to come out here. Yeah. What was your favorite thing about the Neverland Ranch? The house? Did it say the house? So the house was your favorite? Hey, Michael, are you happy with all the messages that were left here in the front of the Neverland Ranch gates? That's a gate. By the way, we're not adding these sounds. We're not manipulating them. These are coming straight from the app. I don't know if we if we've been getting anything. God. Now, the first time I came here, I was picking up so much on the spirit box. Uh, it, it's hard to tell if we got anything that was intelligent. So we're right next to the Neverland Ranch and that fence, I mean, it's what, like two and a half feet tall? You can see right there though, there is a big sign that says no trespassing. And I think this is the start to the Neverland Ranch property because there is a separation straight ahead. Maybe do a little bit. gate? No, not <laughs> climb the gate. I mean, if if you want to, I'll yeah. wait here for you. Mm -hmm. You'd be waiting a long time. I'll give you my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up at the police impound yard. Right. I almost want to ask this question because if you were a Michael Jackson fan, you know, there was some things that he was accused of doing that I don't believe ever happened. I mean, when you're that powerful with music and I mean, it, he was such a nice, fun loving guy. But I know that there's some of you out there that maybe you wonder, was it true? Michael, are the things they said about you true? Awkward. Awkward. Can you answer the question, please? It's not. It's not true. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So why did? Why were they trying to accuse you of those things? Were they tr were they trying to get money from you? They did. You know, Michael wasn't the type of guy that enjoyed any type of drama. And I feel like maybe some people may have gotten paid off just so then they didn't ruin his name any more than they have. 
because think about it you know somebody that hung out with michael jackson and there's proof that they did hang out with michael jackson if they're claiming or allegedly saying that he did these horrible things to their child or anything like that i mean of course if he has enough money just to keep them from ruining his name anymore but i don't know like why wouldn't he just maybe throw a lawsuit at them or something or maybe he didn't maybe he just wasn't like that i've been in lawsuits before they're terrible they're stressful so maybe he just didn't want to deal with it and he was like you know hey um, i'm gonna write you a check for whatever and you know please just stop bringing drama into my life i think a lot of times too like publicists and stuff because you know a lot of these you know big stars actually have publicists maybe encourage certain behavior as far as like let's just give them the money it's not worth the headache yeah. try to talk him into doing that yeah i don't know this this whole conversation about like what we just brought up is controversial in itself but at the end of the day michael's in heaven we're here remembering him and people till this day love him and they love him so much that they're coming to visit here and if you're not able to come and visit all you have to do is watch this video you can watch my other video that i did we also went to michael jackson's final resting place which is at the forest lawn cemetery in los angeles actually i think it's in glendale real close to los angeles there is a forest lawn in los angeles if you go to that one visit my buddy paul walker that's where he's at hey michael we know you love the neverland ranch so much that you come and visit from time to time thank you for letting us come visit your property we would love to come visit the neverland ranch and go inside your house one day my camera's like bugging right now the autofocus is going crazy really Are you messing with my camera, Michael? It's okay if you mess with my camera. Ooh. What was that? I don't, I have no idea. Somebody just fall on the, tr on the, on the car? Uh, are we under a tree? Yeah, there's no, there's no tree above us. Really? And there's trees next to us. Can you come and shake the car like you did the last time? I was here. Dang. It was so cool last time, bro. I felt like there was something underneath the car. And I thought maybe somebody was messing it with it from behind. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, why are you so quiet tonight? I came all the way from Florida. My friend came all the way from Florida to come say hi to you. You want to talk on the spirit box again? Yes. I stopped. Did that scare you? Yeah. <laughs> it did, actually. Can you come and scare James? <laughs> I know it's gonna happen. We're gonna come back to the spare box, like, and listen. We're gonna hear all kinds. We're of stuff. gonna hear some crazy stuff that we missed. Probably. Cause uh, it is very late for us. Like it's two thirty-five in the morning in Florida. Here it's eleven thirty-four p.m. So it's uh, it's very late for us. And you know we're getting older. Have to go to sleep a little earlier. <laughs> but no, we haven't been sleeping a whole lot. We don't very much when we come on a West Coast trip. I really wanted to come here during the day, but we got stuck in Los Angeles traffic on the way here. And then we tried going somewhere else and it, we ended up here so late at nighttime. It is quite a bit of a hike to get here. I think the name of this town is Los Olivos. It's right outside of Santa Barbara. And we also visited Santa Barbara. Beautiful out here not a whole lot to see but nature so if you like it it's because you like nature and you love michael jackson of course in my previous video i did do some really cool drone shots of the property yes i flew my drone over the neverland ranch property also known now as the saddle something sycamore sycamore 
it's probably their last name, Sycamore, Sycamore Valley Ranch now, that's the name of, uh, it'll always be the Neverland Ranch, sorry, that's what it's going to be forever, but we're going to go ahead and get out of here, make sure to watch some of my other Michael Jackson videos, it is getting late, and we have another three hour, three and a half hour drive back to Los Angeles, be sure to check out my friend James the Fam, I'll leave a link down below to his channel. If you caught anything in this video, please let me know. Maybe something through the spirit box that I missed that was intelligent, but maybe I just didn't understand it. Yeah, let us know. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.